Good morning you guys and welcome back to another what I eat in a day video You guys live for these videos and so do I because I do know that I'd be getting creative whenever I'm filming a what I eat in a day Love these videos so I wanted to make one for you guys today And I can fit this video in this week because I'm gonna have such a hectic week because your girl is moving I'm just gonna briefly talk about my moving situation basically We're gonna move into the same building just a different apartment a couple floors down And it's only because I've lived in this apartment for a long time now and I did tell you guys how this was supposed to be my temporary apartment because I was just trying to get out of a really bad apartment situation so this was like my second option but for the amount of time that we're here we've been like oh when are we gonna move when are we gonna finally like move we've been so comfortable in this apartment that we completely forgot like to keep up to date when the other apartments that we really wanted in this building would be free but they're never free or they're always taken last minute we got lucky and we found one that isn't exactly what we wanted but it is the format it's a completely different apartment but it looks the same it's much bigger it is slightly different like there's so many things that I have to show you guys in my moving vlogs that make it different but we're excited and we're moving this weekend so again another impulsive move-in that I did if y'all are real ones I'm pretty sure you guys remember how it took me a day or two to decide to move I literally signed a lease moved in and moved out within the span of two days that's how desperate I was to get out of my last lease and I do have three vlogs of that situation so if you guys want to check that video just look up my name and look up moving vlog I'm pretty sure I have like two different versions of the moving vlog I have the vlog that I moved into this apartment and I have the vlog that I moved into my nightmare apartment <laughs> but that's a little update on my moving situation and I can't wait to move this weekend and start filming it for you guys so that's why I'm doing a quick little what I eat in a day for today's video so I can get content out for you guys before I am like stuck in my house editing and dealing with the whole moving situation so I hope you guys enjoy this video and before I say anything I am not a nutritionist and I'm not a professional when it comes to food I just want to show you guys what I eat to help myself feel better and what I have learned basically I'm not a professional so I can't confirm 50% of the things that I will tell you why I eat certain things I am attempting to be on a cut or a calorie deficit but I don't count my calories I just try to be a little cautious of how many calories I'm getting in <laughs> Sorry. Plus, I'm trying to be mindful of what I eat depending on what I need the food for. For example, for my pre-workout, I'm having something sweet to get my sugar levels up or whatever. And something that won't hurt my stomach too much when I'm like obviously out on a run or lifting or something like that. The thing is, is that I'm going to go on a soft run today and then I'm going to do my upper body and some kicks at the gym. I will say, since I'm not really experienced on any nutritional facts, I just know that I want to get as much nutritional things that I need in my system. Like bananas, grains, vitamins, electrolytes for hydration, fiber, protein. You know, just the simple little basics to get in my everyday meals. Even though I'm being kind of lazy about it, me having that type of diet where I'm at least mindful of it, I will say still made some differences. So I'm not that mad about uh, switching up my diet. I think I know what I'm doing. I think I'm doing something. But after I finish this, I'm going to wait like 30 minutes to an hour before I head out to my workout. But I do have a grocery delivery package from Hungry Root waiting for me. So while I go get that, I might as well talk to you guys about them. If you guys know me by now, you know that my schedule is quite chaotic. I'm constantly trying to do like 50 things at once, but also enjoy life at the same time, if that makes sense. Like get my work done, but then also get things that are more important in the long run. Let's say like my body health, my skin health, my hair health, endurance, my gut, all of that. That's very important to me, but it's super hard to like get a hold of that. While I have multiple other things to do that I put on my schedule. And it just makes me feel like I don't have enough time to do everything else that I feel like is beneficial to me or I don't have enough time to do things that I want to do for fun. If you yourself has a busy schedule just like me, we all know that like simple errands can be very stressing throughout your day, even if it's as basic as basic adult tasks such as grocery shopping. Let's say you're a full-time parent or you work from home or you go to school but you're also a student athlete. Meal planning and grocery shopping and cooking can be so stressful. Again, basic adult tasks. We all need to know how to do it but still like adding that to your already booked day like that you have to do at least like more than four times a week. I don't know how we do it. So I'm happy to let you guys know that Hungry Brew can make it possible for you guys to do less time stressing over the groceries and more time doing things that you would rather be doing other than grocery shopping. Now, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, let me explain. Hungry Brew is a company that delivers fresh, high quality groceries, easy, already made meals with supplements of your choice right to your doorstep. Now, before shopping on their website, the first thing I took was their quiz so that it'll help them personalize my weekly groceries in order to fit my dietary preferences. They have everything from fresh produce, high quality meats, and seafood, healthy snacks, smoothie sweets, and a lot more. I'm about to start my moving process, so running low on groceries is not that much of a problem now that I know that Hungry Brew is going to save my life in the middle of this process. I don't gotta stop what I'm doing to make a grocery list or a meal plan or waste time driving to the stores. Can we all agree that it's already hard to shop at grocery stores and there's all these food items to choose from? And I don't even know which one of them fit my dietary needs without me having to be there for an hour. I'm like reading every single label and researching all the ingredients and it's just a hassle. It's like such a longer process when you're worried about your health and trying not to waste money. 
money. Hungry Roots delivery and shopping process has eased my mental load a lot when it comes to grocery shopping. Some of you guys have already seen my TikToks or my other what I eat in a day videos and you probably have already seen me use their already made meal kits and not only was it so easy to make, but it even matched all of my health preferences that I want in all of my meals. Sometimes we're just too tired to grocery shop or cook our meals and that is okay. But when Hungry Root sends me my already made meal kits, it saves me so much time on meal planning because there have been times where if I really wanted something quick to eat, I would turn to other food delivery services and I would look for something healthy for me to eat real quickly, but they just never had any good options. Plus when I looked at their healthy suggestions, it looked a little sus. Compared to Hungry Root having a variety of healthy options for me to choose from, they have definitely added value to my day and saved me so much time on grocery shopping and meal prepping for those days that I just want something quick. I am grateful that Hungry Root helped me stick to my specific dietary needs. Since I took the quiz, they personalized my groceries to fit each need that I asked for. From what I put on the quiz, all of the items that they send me are gluten-free, no red meat, mainly plant-based, even healthier desserts that don't make me feel guilty whenever I eat any of them. They make sure to make it easier to eat healthy by doing all of the planning and shopping for you so you don't gotta worry about it yourself. Taking the quiz helps them get to know your personal health goals, dietary restrictions, favorite foods that you're craving, and lots more. All orders are customizable so you can get their suggestions or you can pick anything that you want. So if you're interested in trying out Hungry Root, use my link down below or scan the QR code on the screen and use my code MelaniePCruz40 to get 40% off. I think it's time for us to upgrade the way that we grocery shop, y'all. Let me know if you guys try Hungry Root or use my code and let me know how you guys feel about it and how it benefited your life. So I got my Hungry Root delivery all out and ready to put away. I have so many good little goodies here that I want to try out today, especially the apples because I do want to make my little apple cider French toast for breakfast. The favorite thing that they just gave me this week was the Bonza protein chickpea, po chickpea pasta, excuse me, chickpea pasta in the little shells. I love this one, especially since I always feel so guilty eating any type of pasta, but since this is like really high in protein and it's made out of chickpeas, I know that I'm getting a good amount of source of protein into my little pasta meat. green juice. I didn't realize it until I opened the fridge. I did not expect to make it before I worked out. One thing I just don't like is doing the cutting process because it's so messy and it's got a huge ass cleanup. I'm not stoked about it, but I do love my green juice. I show me making my green juice in like half of my videos, so if you have not seen me make my actual green juice, I'm gonna show you all the things that I usually just throw in there. I leave some things out if I'm out of something, but it looks like I got everything for how I usually do my green juice. I have this cucumbers, green apples, pieces of ginger, chopped pineapples, pain in the ass to chop a whole pineapple, so I always just get the pre bought ones. Celery and some vitamin C powder, because usually I like chop up oranges and put them in there or squeeze orange juice into the mixture, but since it gets a little pulpy, I stick to like my little homemade vitamin C powder. I bake orange peels and then blend them. That's basically how I make this. Spinach and some regular water with some salt in it. So now what I've been doing is I've been putting a little bit of this into another cup and adding my greens powder on top to make a mixture. This is a little chunkier than I like like it to be, but I still kind of chug it when I have like a thick straw. It's not bad. I used to like have an annoyance towards the like pulpiness, but I gotta do what I gotta do. This is my new version of a cocktail if it's like too strong. You still wanna feel it. Like this one, I'm gonna wait till I come back from my run because this helps with digestion. Yeah, this is basically like my digestion juice and there's a bunch of other benefits like your skin. So once I'm done with my run, then I'll take this because I don't I want nature calling while I'm in the middle of my workout. So I'm gonna let this get cold in the fridge when I get back. I'm not running in these sweats. These are just cause I was cold in here. I swear any pants under the knee practically feels like you're naked. Should I shave my legs? start pouring. I know a storm is coming tomorrow. Go ahead in the middle of my run. I gotta run to the gym before I get caught in the rain. Again. Last time that happened, I nearly went blind.
I already washed my hands, but I'm ready to make this damn French toast. I just looked up a bunch of apple cider French toast on TikTok and I just got a bunch of random, unique recipes. And I think I'm just trying to collide it into one. So I got my two gluten-free bread right here and I'm gonna start off making the little base to soak, like the egg, the egg wash, but I'm gonna add apple cider. So I'm gonna add just two eggs. No, I got a shell in there. I've been really bad with my shells. I'm gonna whisk the egg. Added some cinnamon and brown sugar. Not too much because we want to keep it very healthy. This is optional, but I got apple spice seasoning. It smells like apple. So I mistakenly got this apple juice from Trader Joe's and I thought it was the apple cider, but it's literally plain, plain old apple juice. But it still counts. I want to make it nice and wet. A little bit of dairy-free milk. I'm using almond milk. And not a surprise, plant protein, happy Viking protein powder. I didn't put that much. I'm going to save some to like alternative powdered sugar on top of it. But you just want to get it nicely mixed in there. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> you guys always like want me to do more cooking and baking videos. But like sometimes I'm good. Sometimes I have days like this. But I cut it out. So watch the in order for these to come out super crispy, you really want to butter up your pan and make sure it sizzles before you put your French toast in it. I'm going to dip these little babies inside, give them a little bath. I have not made French toast in such a long time. This feels very, very odd to me. I think if I do this, it'll like have it absorb a little bit more. Now I got to chop my little mini apples. Ooh, pro cutting skills. Let's see how thin I made these. This is the first time I'm making this, but now I'm gonna probably make this like more than my pumpkin pancakes. We have some apple juice, maple syrup, apple spice seasoning, and some cinnamon. This little mixture. Oh. And let's say apples in there to caramelize. And this will basically be our syrup. I swear to God, y'all, I did not think it was gonna make that big of a fucking sound. I tried to play it all cool. Guys, this looks like the best breakfast I've ever made in a while. Oh yes. Oh my god. Let me take a bite. No, no way. You guys have to make this. If you're gonna make anything out of this video, it has to be this. Oh my god. <laughs> you see me like <laughs> trying to tear into this apples. I definitely like the best part. No way. I'm making this more from now on. I'm gonna sit here for a bit. Green de bloat juice. I never like to call the greens powder a de bloat. I feel like when you're bloated, you're just having really bad digestive issues. So if you drink a lot of fiber or a nice digestive juice with a little bit of the powder, I feel like that's like now considered as a deep a de bloat drink. Oh, that's so good. I didn't have enough sweetness when I blended it, but since the powders have a good amount of sweetness to it, it's like a perfect combination. <laughs> Oh god, that's so good. It's super spicy because of the ginger. Now it's time for me to go take a shower, get some work done, get some packing done. I will start filming my moving vlog right after I post this video since I'm, mo I'm moving this weekend. I'm so nervous to like get started on packing because I know I'm telling myself that it's gonna be easy. Since it's like from one floor to the other, I'm just gonna pick things up, go down, put it there, and it's like gonna be it's gonna be much easier than taking it to a whole nother house and driving it. But I'm still like so nervous because you don't think you have a lot of things until you start packing it out. So I'm a little nervous on how how overwhelmed I'm gonna be for this weekend, but I think if I start now, I'll be pretty solid. And I'm lucky that it's in the same building. I swear, whenever I look back at my videos and I see that my necklace is not aligned, I get so mad at myself. Sorry if that bothered anybody that it was like, you know, up here. And me running around and doing all the packing, and obviously like if I'm ever working on my laptop and walking on the walking pad, I'm obviously burning calories somehow, and maybe even a little, not a lot, obviously. But since I'm burning some calories throughout my day, I'm gonna get hungry, so. So, hey. 
Hello. Hello. Oh, you know. Ah, bye-bye. Oh my goodness. Sorry, guys. Anyways, I forgot what I was saying now. Moon just distracted me. Bye, my son. Since I'm gonna be like burning some type of calories, I'm gonna be hungry, so I'm gonna be snacking throughout the day. I'm trying to have like protein type snacks and also low calorie snacks so that I can get filled up without getting too many calories in my system. Let's get creative today. Let's eat. Are you ready to eat? Are you ready to eat? Who's ready to eat with mommy? If you're wondering what the cat's eating today, it's two containers of the little wet cat food. Off you go, Moon. Okay. There's cat hair all over my mouth. I'll give him one kiss. It's so pretty. I'm having an early lunch today. I already snacked on some popcorn. I'm gonna make my favorite little like football type dinner. I call it football dinner because I feel like this is what you would normally make like at a football barbecue, but I love to make some sweet potato fries and air fry some lemon pepper cilantro wings. Oh my God, I've only had it twice and I can't wait to make it today. I've been waiting to show you guys me making this or what I eat in a day vlog. A little avocado oil and some salt. Oh, I'm out. Pop this in the air fryer and then this is gonna be for our chicken. I have my little thought out chicken wings from Costco and then here are all the seasonings. I have cayenne pepper, garlic powder, some regular pepper, lemon pepper, garlic salt, paprika, and I think that's it. You can even add chili powder if you want. It's gonna oil them up first. And I just have a real ick about touching raw chicken so I'm using a latex glove. Mixing it very generously, try to get all the flavors on each side of the wings. Everyone's secret ingredient to like crispy wings is a little teaspoon of baking powder or baking soda. A little bit of almond flour and some breadcrumbs. Now they're nicely coated, I'm gonna put them on the sheet. While everything's cooking in the air fryer, I'm choosing which Olipop soda I want to do. Pretty sure I'm going to go with the cream soda, just because I feel like I already know what an orange squeeze would taste like. It's just going to taste like a regular orange Fanta, but I really want to try something new today. I really do love like my Poppy and Olipop sodas, especially when I'm craving something and they have like prebiotics and plant fiber in them, so I am such a huge soda person. My mom never like let me have soda growing up, so whenever it was in front of me, I craved it or if I had money, I would buy it all the time. But now that I know that it has like so many bad things inside of it, I'm so freaking glad that we have like a good little healthy alternative for soda because it would have been hard for me to just completely take soda out of my life. Ooh! That's beautiful. My chicken's like almost done, so by the time I sit down, finish like half of this and then pour the rest of this, my dinner, I mean my lunch, will be ready. I might have burnt the sweet potatoes a bit, but at least they're crispy. Oh, <laughs> I was showing the food and then like you see me, you see behind the plate just Doja flipping and then I moved the plate and she stared straight at me. Anyways, I'll get to you in a second, mama. We got our lemon pepper cilantro wings, side a little spring mix and my burnt sweet potato fries. I feel like a pretty light and filling lunch, especially when I zested the lemon and add cilantro. It's like one of my favorite types of wing flavors. I am feeling like taking a bite out of these chicken wings. Y'all see how gorgeous this looks? Please let me know, are you a drum person or a flats person? Cause I will go flats all the way. The lemon zest and cilantro and the lime juice just fits so well together. I usually keep this as finger food so I don't use a fork when I'm eating the lettuce. Mmm, thanks, Papa. I'm just a happy camper. This is gonna be the calm before the chaos of the moving process that's yet to come. Oh, <laughs> got it.
cottage cheese for some protein. Your girl is starving. I made the spaghetti squash and like this little mixed green side salad with like the cubed tofu. Kind of like acted as croutons on a salad. Tastes pretty good together. Even though it's dry, I was gonna put another sauce over it, but I don't have anything, so it's kind of dry, as you can see. But because of the tofu, like every bite, it doesn't feel like a dry crouton. It like has some juice to it. And the spaghetti squash, oh my god. Don't even get me started. I think this is my third time having it. It really does not disappoint. There's so many different recipes on TikTok. The baby's dinner time. The cats are eating. I feel like nobody thinks that we feed our cats, you know? You ever think that? Because I never film it and it doesn't look like I feed them. I mean, they're alive, right? <laughs> How do you think they last this long? <laughs> it feels good to eat while they're eating. It was like, we're having dinner as a family. I'm gonna continue to enjoy this spaghetti squash. I'm having the time of my life right now. I stay hydrated. I know I really don't show me. Drinking my water during my one I eat in the days. Trust me, it's always on deck, so I'm drinking it throughout my entire day. I don't drink it at a certain time other than first thing in the morning. Why can't I open this? Okay, I'm currently already out. I'll get more. I remember I hated my old protein pumpkin smoothies. The one I've been making lately, I don't know what I'm doing, but it's been my top tier. Like I'm actually finishing it and enjoying it as a dessert. I find myself if I'm craving something really, really sweet and I want a lot of it, just make anything protein, eat anything protein as a dessert, anything sweet. As long as it got protein, you don't have to feel that guilty. So I can drink this whole thing and feel all fall themed. Like drinking something like it's from a fall festival, but it's healthier alternative. Now it's time for us to head to bed. I'm gonna chill, watch some TV while I drink my little dessert and then obviously brush my teeth and take my melatonin gummies and fill up my water bottle. You're not gonna say anything? No, no, I'm just, I'm <laughs> sweet. <laughs> no, you're not, you about to. I got my nightly Fiji. <laughs> Thank God for Matt saying he'll record this because I was not gonna pick up that camera. Mm -hmm. I ate a lot today, y'all. I got enough energy and I burned all of them, most of them. Peace out, Girl Scout. We love ya. <laughs> Good night. Hey. Deuces. Hey, yo. Notice how I don't say me. Notice how I say we. It's not just me. I'm what the cult for me. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. Yeah, yeah. Alright, good night. Good night. <laughs>